Shannon, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, it's a great moment for you. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions about uh, your background and your life in the sport of wrestling. Uh, the first one would be, uh, was there an individual that had a giant impact on your wrestling career? Uh, I've had several individuals that had that impact, but to start off with, I'd like to talk about my dad because he had this vision for me back in 1987. And um, at the time, I wanted to play football. And he was just like, there's no way you are too small at 115 pounds. They know you're a girl out there. They're going to come after you. And he said, why don't you try wrestling? There's weight classes. There's a referee on the mat to keep you safe. Because my dad knew even back in the 80s that girls could do anything we set our minds to. And he just wanted me to be safe so he encouraged me to go out for the team which I did and then my dad was involved and he started coming to all the practices and before you knew it he even became a coach at the school and coached there long after I was gone so yeah my dad is my hero and the person who's really responsible for getting me into wrestling oh that's awesome and who was the other one that you wanted to mention? Oh gosh, the other one, um, I would say uh, Dave Schultz was a big influence for me because he was wrestling during that time and we did a lot of things that the, the men were at as well. And I really loved watching him wrestle, first of all. But um, he was kind, he was patient. He's the one who taught me my favorite parterre move, which I called the, the Schultz tilt. And that's how I scored most of my points. But what I loved most about Dave is everywhere he went, everybody loved him. It didn't matter if it was man, woman, child, adult, which country, he just really touched people and he made, uh, he was such a positive influence on everyone. So definitely looked up to Dave Schultz. Yeah, he is missed. Who was your wrestling idol or hero growing up? Would it be Dave or? Uh, Dave was definitely one of them because he was already established, but for the women being one of the first yeah. generation yeah. of pioneer women, I definitely looked up to Trish Saunders because mm -hmm. she was older. Yeah. She was a little bit older than us and she's the one who organized events and let's get together, let's train in Arizona. I got everything hooked up at the university. We're gonna train there. She was kind of like the little mama bear of us mm -hmm. and she just knew a bit about wrestling already and she was already with Townsend Saunders and uh, she just really had the wisdom and and you know just the vision for who we were and what we could be yeah well uh, you were involved in a really an exciting time for women's wrestling and yes and, and it is continuing to blossom and can get better uh, what aspect of your personality do you think has contributed most to your success in wrestling? Uh, I would say you tell me I can't do something, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. And during the time that I started wrestling in the 80s and the early 90s, there were so many walls that we had to break through and so mm -hmm. many people who told us we couldn't be there. Um, and there were you know tournaments that I went to to try to better myself and they told me, sorry, you're a girl, you can't wrestle here. Or the ones that they let me in, oh, well, let's just pair her up against one of the best wrestlers here and we'll just knock her out of the tournament right away. For example, um, in the Inland Empire, and this is when I was already wrestling on the women's and national team, but I was trying to get better and I was trying to hit those extra tournaments and develop my skills. And one of my first matches was against Stephen Abbas, <laughs> you know, yeah, you who's a much. world champion. Right. Yeah. And yeah, so those were some tough things, but if somebody said no to me, I wanted to prove them wrong. So that was definitely like just driven in me that I could do it and just watch me do it. So I had that perseverance to break through those boundaries and those walls. Mm -hmm. I think it would take that. I mean, if you didn't, I, I don't know that uh, it, it, you'd be able to do that for sure. Most definitely. What is the most outstanding memory you've had in your career in the sport of wrestling? I would say that would be um, 1994, I won the Belt Series Award. So that was just my year to shine. Um, every, th every tournament I entered in nationals and world team trials, all the international tournaments, I was just really wrestling well that year. And to win the Belt Series, meaning out of all the women wrestling in the United States, I collected the most points for all the uh, tournaments and accolades I racked up that year. So definitely 1994 was a, um, a milestone for me and definitely a highlight. Yeah, quite an accomplishment. Thank you. Uh, what made you get started in wrestling? 
it, you know, you talked about your dad's influence, but yes, what actually got you, got you in there? Well, I grew up with three brothers, and I had an older brother who really toughened me up. So I was always outside playing with the boys and having fun, wrestling around, playing football, and I was better than them. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to do something that really challenged myself. So when I was in high school, those winter sports, and in high school I was a, a cheerleader, I was a softball player, and I did varsity for both of those. But that winter sport, I just really didn't have anything that was calling my name. Mm -hmm. And luckily, you know, my dad encouraged me to go out for wrestling. So that filled that spot for me. And it was wonderful because even though I was a cheerleader and then I walked into the wrestling room and the wrestling coach is just like, what is this girl doing in here? I just proved myself, you know, every day I went in and I worked hard. And, and before you knew it, he became one of my biggest fans. And um, we had more and more people coming to the matches. And because I was a cheerleader, we had the cheerleaders coming to the matches. And it just ended up being a, a wonderful experience. And my teammates were so kind to me and they treated me like an equal. And what was nice for me, I never felt like I had to change. I never felt like, okay, because I'm a female wrestling with all these boys, I never felt like I had to cut my hair short or dress like a boy or act like a yeah. boy. I was able to still be my feminine self and come in and work hard and kick some butt. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, how, how long did that take? You, you know, you, you went out for the team for the first yeah. time. In your school, had they had any female wrestling? No, I was the wrestling. first one. I was the first girl to wrestle at Chafee High School, my alma mater, mm -hmm. in Ontario, California. And for the two years that I wrestled in high school, because I went out my junior year and then wrestled again my senior year, I never even saw another girl wrestler anywhere around us, anywhere in the Inland Empire. I never met another female wrestler. So for my two years of wrestling, my junior and senior year, I only competed against boys. And my first year, the, the coach was just kind of like, oh, I have a feeling this girl's just going to quit. You know, it'll get tough. Wrestling practice is grueling as we all know it's just a hard workout every day but I thrived in that environment and I just got stronger and better and I kept coming back so junior year was definitely you know your first year is that learning experience um, so I still had a winning record against the boys but then I came back my senior year and made the varsity lineup and still had a winning record so that was fantastic and then my dad it was like uh, partway through my first year in college I just assumed my wrestling career was over because there wasn't anything else for me to do and in, in college I think the lightest weight class at the time was 118 pounds and those men were cutting from 135 pounds to 118 and I knew you know me being a 110 pound wrestler that was just not gonna work for me so I approached the wrestling coach at the university and said hey can I keep stats for you I just want to be a part of wrestling somehow and during that time, my dad had actually heard about a tournament happening in the Bay Area. And so he's like, do you want to go? It's an all-girls wrestling tournament. So I said, sure, let's go check it out. So he got us our airline tickets, and we flew up there. And, and I'm at this tournament weighing in. I'm seeing all these other girls from all over the United States, really. They were from everywhere. And it was so interesting for me to be surrounded by other female wrestlers and athletes. And I was a little nervous because, you know, if ever I lost before, I could always say, I'm wrestling against boys. Mm -hmm. But this was like equal ground. We're all women here. And then when I was wrestling in this tournament, a lot of the girls that I was wrestling, they were um, trying to foot sweep me and kick me and do these strange things. And I had no idea why they were wrestling me that way. And I ended up winning the tournament. And the tournament director came up to me afterwards and said, you just won your spot. You're going to the world championships. You're the first place girl at 116 pounds, 53 kilos. So you're going to Sweden for the world championships. And I was blown away. I had no idea that that's what I was there competing in. So the other girls did. And so what was happening is a lot of the judo girls, these national judo players knew, okay, USA Wrestling starting to support women's wrestling. They're going to send a team. So they were trying to make that um, crossover. And that explained why they were trying to kick me and yeah, foot sweep yeah. me. It's a great story. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Uh, if you had the opportunity to start your career over, is there anything that you would change or you're perfectly satisfied with uh, how uh, it's gone thus far? The biggest thing that I'd change is to definitely start sooner. You know, I started my junior year in high school, so it would have been nice if I started even in middle school because I know, you know, there's lots of schools that expose the kids to 
wrestling in middle school and it's everywhere now for the women especially but to start earlier would have been amazing but for me I went to Chico State and when I got there that was the year due to Title IX which was actually to support me but because I was competing in this male dominated sport it was the year they dropped the wrestling program oh, so that was a little unfortunate for me because I didn't have those boys to work out with and a coach and I would have been with Armin Brett and that would have been amazing but um, so then I ended up working out with a lot of the like the really skilled kids at the high schools in town but if I could do it all over again it would be nice to be at a university with a men's program mm -hmm. oh, I, I could see that what would you like people to remember about you Shannon uh, I would like people to remember that I am a feminine badass and I feel like that's important to say because back when I started wrestling that was not really accepted most people or girls were pressured into conforming like you need to cut your hair you need to look like this act like this dress like this and so I prided myself on the fact that I could still go out on that mat and kick some butt and then just walk off the mat and just be as girly as ever. And that's something that I preach today because I'm back to coaching. Yeah. And I tell these girls, I said, you can be feminine, you can be masculine, you can be a tomboy, you can be a girly girl, you can be whatever you want to be because this sport supports you. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're male, female, tall, short, anyone can wrestle. That's a great message. And I'm sure you pulled it off uh, yeah. well with the kids. Thank you. Well, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Enjoy your Thanks, evening. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. I appreciate it.